Hi, Dave Strain here with Edgy Tools. I wanted to explain and uh, go into some detail on the Edgy Tape. Uh, first of all, if you're not familiar with it, this is the Tessa Tape. It's the actual tape that Mercedes uses uh, to wrap their wiring harness. Uh, it's very durable. It's almost uh, puncture resistant and uh, very high abrasion. You must use scissors or a knife to cut it. Uh, we just got back from Mobile Tech Expo, the uh, trade show down in Orlando. And I kind of had a sword in the stone kind of thing going where I challenged everybody if you could tear a piece off, you got the roll for free. Um, as you can see, this is two days worth of huge guys trying to rip this. Everybody thought for sure they could. You just can't. I mean, this stuff is so durable. There's, there's, no, there's no possible way you're going to tear it, you know. Um, so uh, what you do with it, a lot of guys don't know, is the main reason guys like it for paintless dent repair is to wrap the tip of your tool. So, and you can pay attention, you wrap three or four stripes strips around the um, tip of the tool and you actually push with it. Kind of like if you use a soft tip, you're gonna move more metal with less you know, visible damage that you're causing to the back side of the panel as well as uh, you know, in the dent. You're not gonna have those nasty marks in it if you're bringing up a real deep, bad dent. So that's the main thing is you wrap the tip of your tool with it and it'll last a long time. I've even had guys tell me they last longer than the rubber tips that they put over the caps that they put on the end of their tools. So um, that's the main reason. The other thing is, let's say you're working on the door edge. Uh, if you're using edgy hookers, just you can put a few strips down the area where you're going to be doing a lot of moving. So you're still using a wooden block or a rubber mallet or whatever to pound door edges out. Um, definitely want to tape the panel first. Um, that's going to help you out a great deal from damaging the in interior, you know, the painted surface of the um, door. So those are some little tips. So here's a tool that is wrapped with edgy tape. Um, it was just hanging in my garage from the last time I used it. As you can see, hardly any wear or tear on there or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this one and I'll rewrap it just so you guys can see how I do it. You know, anybody, I mean, there's nothing special about it, but uh, just so everybody knows what they're doing with it. You know, other people probably have their own techniques, but um so again that's that's all i'm using so to show you what i'm going to do to t tape the uh, end of the tool and to show you how easily this cuts i'm going to cut just a short little strip um uh, probably just about like there uh what is that a couple inches about as long not even as long as my finger and then i like to cut a real short little strip and i'll show you what i do with that in a second so what i start with is the long strip and i generally like to start on the back of the tool um, just a little bit overlapping the tip and just start wrapping it and working my way up a little bit just so that I make sure the whole tip's covered with a few layers and pay attention. Sometimes three is right, sometimes four. Depends on how soft or how, you know, hard a push you're looking for. And then you always wind up if you're, you know, with a little flappy thing or whatever. Uh, I just fold that down and then that's what I use that real little piece that I cut for and just wrap that over it. And now I'm all set to go. And like I said, that'll last a long time. And first couple pushes, that'll really shape to the tip of the tool and uh, be good to go. And the beautiful thing is, unlike the soft rubber caps that you push and you push and you push and boom, you're through and it's metal on metal and you create a real nasty high spot and hopefully don't crack the paint or whatever. With the tape, you're going to wear through layer by layer by layer. You're never going to go metal on metal. So... It just gives a real nice, softer push, but still a little more firm than some of those real soft caps. Um, and I think you'll love it. So check it out. Try it. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.